Hi, I'm Heather Park. I'm here in Utah to meet our next torch winner, Claire Oliver. Claire is a 17-year-old high school junior who was born with PKU. She's been advocating on behalf of rare diseases since the age of 12. Claire is a member of the Every Life Foundation's Young Adult Rare Representatives and has advocated on both the state and federal level around the Medical Nutrition Equity Act in response to the formula shortage. And she volunteers for the Intermountain PKU and Allied Disorders Association. Claire, before we talk about your work in advocacy, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I'm 17. I just got done with my junior year of high school. I had a bit of a rigorous academic year, so I'm glad that that's over. Um, outside of school, I ski in the winter, and I like to hike in the summer, and then I dance, and I've danced pretty much my entire life. I love to be in the outdoors. I love camping and just anything to do with that. And in my free time, I kind of just do whatever. <laughs> In addition to being a busy teenager, you're an impressive advocate on behalf of PKU patients and all rare disease patients. Can you tell us about how you got involved in advocacy? Yeah, so when I was 12, I started meeting with local congressmen and I met with them on behalf of the Medical Nutrition Equity Act, which is a bill that would require insurance companies to cover medical food and formula for people with PKU and other rare diseases. So this policy was first introduced in 2009 and we've been working to get it passed um, every Congress since then. And I started this because my insurance company denied coverage of my formula, which I need. And so it was important to me to advocate for national coverage. This issue highlights the importance of medical formula for so many patients. So when there was a formula shortage a few years ago, this was critical for many patients. Can you tell us a bit about the work that you did for the shortage and the resulting Formula Act? Yes, so during the shortage, um, I was not able to access my formula, uh, which was a problem because I had to find an alternative and that's usually hard, especially for people with rare diseases. And so I contacted the people at the company whose factory shut down, as well as the FDA, so we could get emergency shipments of the formula that they had. And I also, spoke with a bunch of other health higher-ups um, that deal with health and policy throughout the nation. Okay, well you've accomplished more in the policy world than most people have in a lifetime. However, on a personal level, can you talk about the welcome kits that you deliver to newly diagnosed babies and their families? And what does it mean to them to have a personal connection with an older, an amazingly accomplished person like yourself living with PKU? Yes, so I've been going to deliver these kits since I was little and I've just always remembered that the families have been really reassured and relieved to see me and to meet me and to see that even living with PKU, I can still have a happy life. Lastly, what does winning a Torch Award mean to you? I think it gives me a sense of accomplishment for all of the things that I've done because I've put in lots of time and lots of effort and I've met with so many congressmen and I've had successes and failures and I think that the Torch Award is great for recognizing all the work that I've put in. Claire, I just wanna thank you for taking the time today and telling us about all of the amazing things that you've accomplished in your time living with PKU. You're an amazing young woman who's accomplished a lot and I can honestly say I'm looking forward to seeing what more you're gonna accomplish in the future because we need more Claire's in the world, so thank you. Yeah, thank you. If only every 17-year-old was as smart, dedicated, and impactful as Claire. I'm so grateful to spend time to hear even a bit about her work and her life. It's inspiring and should motivate us all to do more. Mm -hmm.